crib so big, it's on an island. Money so long, it's hard to pilot. Being too fly, don't need a stylist. Feel like it's taking too long, and I can't wait to get on. I'm having superstar dreams. Yep, this year has, uh, this year was, it's, just, it's only July, it's only July, you know, here's, here's what, this, this is crazy, the title of this video is called Recap of 2020, and it's only July, here's my main thing right now, hold on, let me take a sip, because, in 2019, in December, all I heard, all I saw on social media was, oh my God, I can't wait for 2020. 2020 is going to be amazing. We're going to a new decade. This is going to be the greatest thing ever. 2020 is going to be a movie. All I heard, 2020 is going to be a movie. They wasn't wrong. 2020 is definitely a movie. I don't, I think they were more thinking they was going to be like Avengers Endgame or Avatar or Star Wars, you know, spectacles. You know, it's been more human centipede, um, after Earth, um, strange things about the Johnsons. Yeah, a horror movie, if you would. A terrible horror movie, but a horror movie nonetheless. This year has been so crazy that if Earth was like a TV series for aliens to watch. I bet aliens are looking down at Earth like this. Bro, are you watching this new season of Earth? Yo, this season is crazy. We only at episode seven and I'm losing my mind, bro. I didn't think it was gonna get no better after 2016 when they elected the dumbass as president. Yo, they all wilding on the United States side of Earth. Like it is crazy. I heard zombies are coming in episode nine. Are we supposed to invade in episode 12? So, and let me, let me explain to you. Like, so if this was really a series, this was really a series, this is episode seven out of 12, right? Episode seven out of 12, we're in July. I'm gonna give you a recap of important things or crazy things that have happened in 2020. I'm not gonna give you everything that happened in 2020 because this video will be 48 minutes long. It'd be 60 minutes long. Now, I'm gonna give you a recap of 2020, right? And it's only, like I said at the beginning, it's only July. It is only in July. It's only the seven. Let's start off with January, you know? And I feel like the beginning of January feels like it was simpler times. It was first two days of January were going great. And then the third day, everything we worried about now, it's crazy because the third day, all we had to worry about was we, we were going to World War III. Yes, hashtag World War III was trending on January 3rd because, you know, the whole drone attack in Iran. The three days into 2020, we thought we was going to World War III. That should have really put us in the mindset of where this was going. You know what's messed up about thinking like, okay, three days into January, we might go to World War III. A week later, Trump's trial starts for him getting impeached. <laughs> oh, I want you to hear that again. Trump's trial started of him getting impeached. Now, think about it. Let's say, miraculously, or thank God, it didn't. World War III was happening. Our commander-in-chief, the person who's supposed to be leading us, <laughs> oh, we're thinking about impeaching him. That's what we got as our leader. I just feel like other countries around the world fucking laugh at us constantly, constantly. We are the laughing stock of the world. And you know how January ended? You know how January just completely was like, hey, look, I'm warning you now, 2020 ain't what you think it is. They took Kobe from us. That one don't even, doesn't even seem right. They didn't just take Kobe, they took his daughter with him. Do you know how, you know what's crazy? Actually, Kobe, I'm glad you're resting in peace. And you're not dealing with everything up here. Because while you're resting in peace, we are woke into stress up here. 
Okay, I'm, you know what, rest. Glad you don't have to deal with what the fuck we're dealing with here. Fucking, almost with the fucking World War Three on the third day. It's only my third day out here. Yeah. yeah it's only my third day out here, I don't know. Let's move to February. February, guess what? Trump actually got acquitted for the impeachment. You still see his orange ugly ass every day, tweeting on the news saying the dumbest shit. So, hey, you know, you run for president, do what you want. Get acquitted, you're still there. Also, fucking locusts the size of cities were in South Africa. Imagine walking out your house and fucking just walking, open the door and just see the locusts that cover your whole city. Close the door, go in the closet, and just sit there and hope for the best. That's all I would have told you to do. I don't, like, literally, this is February, by the way. We're only in the second month. And the last thing in February, the only thing, you literally, I want you to listen to this. The only good news, kind of, the only good news that came out of 2020 in this particular video is that Harvey Weinstein got, fucking got, was guilty of the rape and sex charges. I want you to think about that. That's the only good thing that came out of this. And it's looking on a sour note because it took that long. Harvey Weinstein is fucking decrepit ass. <laughs> decrepit ass was out here doing this for how long? And it took till 2020 to be like, you know what? Let's put him in there. You know, you know what's actually it's really funny? There was a post at the end of February by the national, the national post said, people are starting to worry that 2020 is off to a bad start. <laughs> Whoa, National Post. <laughs> you have no fucking idea. Okay, so uh, let's go to March. Coronavirus said, yep. The United States feels like, feels like my home. Let me just pack up shop here, you know, and settle down. He, he done bought land, coronavirus done bought land. You know what I'm saying? They're chilling. They're here to stay. That's when it was declared a pandemic. In the United States, it was declared a pandemic in March. They knew about the coronavirus in January. So anyway, that's when it was called a pandemic. And this really goes from March and April. March and April are really just about corona. And at the end of March, a young lady named Brianna Taylor was murdered by cops. But we're gonna get there. I'm gonna come back to that. Don't forget that name. We're gonna we're gonna come back to that. Now this is March. Remember that. All right. Let's go to April. Okay. Let's go to April. Remember, I said March and April were kind of like the same. Just coronavirus got worse and worse. Like March was just like, okay, we're in a pandemic, and people still didn't take it as seriously as they should. In April, we hit a million cases. In a month, from not taking it seriously as you should to a million cases in the US alone. New York by itself had more cases than most countries. New York, a state in the United States, had more cases than a whole country. Unemployment, all time high. A million people that lost their jobs. Oh, April. So in May, you know how May popped off? In May, they had giant hornets. There was giant horse hornets the size of rats. You know what their name is? Killer hornets. We had killer hornets beside a killer pandemic. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're in the fifth month of the year and we got killer hornets and the pandemic outside. Don't forget about the locusts, they're still there too. So if you walk outside, you could die by something you can't see, a large ass locust or some large ass hornets. But also in May is when the killings of Ahmaud Arbery and George Floyd happened. So that's what led to all the protests, all the riots, all the looting, everything that's going on in May, June until now has, has happened. It started in May. So this was another awful thing that happened in 2020. Awful, to say the least. Then June hits summertime. The U.S. said, look, what virus? <laughs> Things start opening back up, like the numbers still not spiking. Businesses are opening up. Non-essential businesses are opening up. Fucking mind-boggling to me. Here's two pictures. I'm going to show you two pictures of things that happened in June. Boom, here's the first one. At a beach. This is a beach. How many masks do you see? 
And how crowded do you see? You see anybody social distancing? Protecting themselves? Okay, let's, let's go to this picture. Let's go to Trump's rally. Boom. This big rally that he said he was gonna have. Big. Yeah. A lot of people there, Trump. And then he blamed the media for he was like, it's the media's fault people didn't come. By the way, of the people who did come, bottom row, look at the people. You see any mask? Hmm. Even people who support Trump are idiots. <laughs> I just don't understand. The, like, why won't you just put on, like, what is the big deal? Here, here's what, let's just, it just blows my mind about all this, right? This week, this week that I'm putting this out, right? I think it was like Sunday. New Zealand put out a thing that said they're virus free. They didn't beat the virus. They are completely free of the virus. Yet in the United States, fucking Florida is the epic center. The United States is the museum of idiocracy. And when people come into the country, they see exhibit A, dumbass, and not wearing a mask, or don't know how to put on a mask. This is this is what people see, and this is what people think of the United States. I already know, I bet they are laughing at how stupid. They just now, this week, put the mandatory mask law out. We've known about the virus, apparently since January. And in July, they just put, do you think if I hit myself hard enough, I will be knocked out until this is all over? Because I'm considering. In July, I feel like at this point, people are just, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's through, like, celebrities are going through it this month. It is just bad for celebrities. Still bad for us too, because the numbers are still spiking in the USA. Other countries are dropping tremendously, but the USA, oh, they're spiking. Beloved celebrities are just, I don't know, like the August and Will situation. 2020 was like, let me throw some weird shit at you. August and Will situation. Like after, like I told you in the news video where August was like, he was in a sexual relationship with Jada. Jada brought herself to the red table, her show, and was like, I was in a relationship with August after me and Will split. Actually, rewind that. She didn't say relationship. <clears throat> got into a different kind of entanglement with August. I was in an entanglement with August. Entanglement. Word of the day, like Sassy Bistri. Fucking word of the day is fucking entanglement. You ride together, you die together. Bad marriage for life. Also, also this week, first of all, this week has just been awful. This week, maybe this is the, like, the heel, like the climax, you know, you get to the climax and you start going downhill from there, it's just downhill from there as like, it just calms down, maybe, hopefully. Texas right receiver Kenny Stills was arrested this week. Now, if you hear NFL receiver arrested, you think, oh, they probably did something. He was, he was, he was protesting with Breonna Taylor. And he got arrested. Protesting. Peace with the protesting. Breonna Taylor's death. You know who hasn't been arrested yet? The cop that killed her. Oh my god, isn't that something? That's fucking crazy. He's doing fine, but a person protesting the death of a black woman who was just in her home. Oh, you you gotta get up out of here. Anyway, serious tone. In a more serious tone, Nick Cannon was fired today by Viacom or Viacom or however the fuck you spell it. Stupid ass names. Um, was fired today for, and their quotes having anti-Semitic comments. Now I'm not gonna get into what you said. If you want to go, well, I think they took it down. YouTube took it down, but I'm pretty sure it's anywhere you can find it. What he said, you can go watch it. Here's my thing. What he said is what he said. If you feel a way about it, you feel a way about it, and that's your. Right. Did he say some hurtful things? Yes, he did. Not denying that. Right? He apologized to the Jewish community, right? And they got him out of there quick. Fired him literally. Literally. After they saw the video. He was fired. Um, a couple years ago, Mel Gibson got into a situation with a cop. And he was like, the Jews were the problem with... They started all the wars in the world. Just to let you know, he has two movies coming out this year, alone. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, just wondering why Nick Cannon got fired so fast and yet a man like Mel Gibson has two movies. 
That's all I'm asking. And and then and lastly, uh, today, let me. I want to read this so I don't mess this up. Today, the U.S. hospitals are banned from reopening COVID data to the Centers of Disease Control, the CDC. By the way. Instead, they must report to a no-bid, privately contracted server under the control of Trump's political apparatus. Trump's administration said, no, 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 you can no longer provide COVID statuses to the CDC. They have to come to this private area. We are dealing with a super villain in office, and I just, 2020 is just, I can't even describe, literally, if somebody told you, this is what's gonna happen in the first seven months. There's no way in any possible way nobody would believe you. Not a soul. But yet here we are. Now, I will say this, right? Jokes aside, everything aside, right? Hear me out. Uh, one of my friends, teasing, the guy who does my intro, the guy who did I did the video on, he always, he's constantly telling us, telling his friends, telling me that 20 still feels like 2020 is the year of breakthrough right and to break through something you gotta go through something if you used to break through a brick wall you gotta go through a brick wall to get through now if you're going through a brick wall it ain't gonna be easy but when you get to the other side you know how satisfying that's gonna feel when we this is over and you look back everything that you've been through this year that you got through it's gonna be amazing. But I know for one thing, when I have kids, they ain't gonna be able to tell me shit, boy. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you know how your parents always be like, you try to tell them something that you're going through and they just blow it off because you know, their parents and they always be like, you ain't going through nothing, you ain't never been through nothing. Boy, if you'd have went through what I went through, you'd be out of it like we fucking cared about what they went through or talked about. Um, oh, my kid's not here. And I'm be like, you would have survived in 2020. Oh, what? Can't tell me nothing. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I just want to show you everything that you've been through this year. You've actually been through a lot and you're, you're getting through it. Just want to pray for you guys' as mental. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are still getting through this. I do want to start off this ending a little differently. I want you guys to follow me on all my Twitters and all my and all my Twitters where I like it's like three, four. On all my social media is like Twitter, which you can follow me at underscore Justin Woodard, which is my name, or on Instagram at underscore two underscores call me wood. Okay, that's underscore. Justin Woodard for Twitter and two underscores call me wood for Instagram. Okay, I have new videos every Friday. I have new videos every Friday, so please subscribe, like, and share the video with someone. I do got a, two things to celebrate. I have two things to celebrate. First off, the news parody video, my first a thousand views. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who's watching, everybody who's putting and sharing it to other people. I'm so like, I was ecstatic when I woke up one morning and just saw it was at a thousand views. I was just like, wow, I can't believe that happened. And secondly, I had a giveaway last week. And I have a winner. The winner of the giveaway is Drum Moral in Editing in Post, please. Thank you. The winner is at Truly Tree, or found her name is Chelsea Kalu. She not only put it on, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. She put it on LinkedIn. <laughs> she put my link on LinkedIn and not only did she do that, she has a podcast that she does called Unapologetic Shit, right? You guys should all go listen to it. It's on Spotify, it's on Anchor, right? She, at the end of her podcast, shouted out my YouTube channel at the end of her podcast. So I want to thank her. I want to congratulate her on winning the giveaway of $150 and I can't wait for the next giveaway at a thousand subscribers. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to get to a thousand subscribers. I was so happy to get to a hundred and we're on our way. But in all in all, can't wait for you to talk to me nice next video. When that bass drop, let me ride to the bridge. Why I'm at it's a straight shot. Why I'm at it ain't no 